since uh, when we sent to the SK Observatory a proposal to organize this Severo Ochoa, Severo Ochoa school. Um, for this, I, I would like to personally thank to the Institute and to the SK Observatory for contributing to, to make this possible. Um, the school has been endorsed by the SK Regional Center Network and also by the International Year for Basic Science uh, for Sustainable de Development. Um, thanks, for, thanks to all the participants for, for being here in person or virtually. Um, just for those who are virtually, um, I would like to tell you that we have a big TV um, uh, just to show the, the Zoom window. So if you want to turn on, turn on the camera, the, just don't be shy. Uh, and, and by doing this, uh, it will be uh, more inclusive. Um, this, uh, we, we, did, we decided to make this event uh, hybrid to, to, to make it more inclusive but also to reduce the carbon food footprint of the astronomy events. Um, in fact, the more or less close to 50% of the participants will be in, in, in remote mode. So I think that that's quite good. There are some people from other time zones. So we will be recording the Zoom, the Zoom meeting. Um, we will make it available at the end of the day. So that's all from my side. Um, um, I think that um, just thank you for being here. Um, we can start the opening with uh, Isabel. Isabel Lier, please. The director of, no, sorry, Isabel Market, the director of the Severo Ochoa program. Hello, good morning, everybody. I'm the other Isabel, Isabel II. Um, on behalf of the, uh, of the Severo Ochoa here at the Instituto de Astrofisica de Andalucía. Welcome to the IAA SISIC Severo Ochoa SKA Open Science uh, School. It's of course a, a pleasure for me to welcome you to our institute. Um, the IAA was established in the uh, 70s as a research center uh, that belongs to the SISIC, the Spanish National Research Council. And since, since then it has developed into a center of reference for astrophysical research. Nowadays, in fact, it's the second Spanish institution by scientific output for research in astrophysics, and it's the first uh, among the six centers for this research area. At the IAA, we cover all major field, fields of astrophysics and space science, from quantum gravity over solar system to galaxy evolution and cosmology, um, which enables us to play a leading role in large international projects. Our research is based on the three pillars of modern astrophysics, observation, instrumental development, and theoretical and numerical studies. This broad scope is one of the main characteristics and strengths of the IAA. The IAA co-manages the Kalaralt Observatory, the largest observatory in, in mainland Europe. Um, thanks to our unit for instrumental uh, and technical development, we have contributed to the technological and scientific conception and exploitation of numerous space missions led mainly by the European Space Agency since the 90s. We have also contributed to state-of-the-art ground-based um, instrumentation for Calar Alto and the GTC Demeter Telescope in, in the Canary Islands. Now we participate in instrumentation projects for the ESO Extremely Large uh, Telescope, the European Solar Telescope, the Cherenkov Telescope uh, Array Observatory, and the Gino Ge Generation Event Horizon Telescope. The IAA also, as you know, coordinates the Spanish participation in SKA. In July 2018, we obtained our first Severo Ochoa Center of Excellence Award by the Ministry of Science, a distinction that recognizes centers that carry out cutting edge basic research and are among the best in their field. Our first Severo Ochoa project had a transformative effect in terms of attracting international talent, rejuvenating our staff, increasing scientific production, reinforcing work on strategic international infrastructures, implementing an ambitious training program and gaining international visibility for the center. The IAA has led ground for leading the Spanish uh, SK uh, Regional Center prototype, the SPSRC, during our first Severo Ochoa Award by setting up the infrastructure and forming a specialized team. 
The SRC prototype at the IAEA enables transversal and collaborative research and promotes transformational science via SKA precursors and pathfinders, preparing the community to play a major role in the key science projects. We have then been awarded with a second Severo TOA for the new four-year term, term starting last January 2023. With this second award, we will strengthen our strategic lines of research, promoting synergies, taking advantage of our experience in multi-range astronomy and in advanced observation and analysis techniques. Our first Severo Ochoa Award enabled us to implement an ambitious training program, as I said, that we plan to consolidate with the second award. The school starting today, perfectly aligned with this goal, is one of the major training activities we have uh, planned in our program. The IAA is acknowledged as a key community leader promoting SKO as a role model for open science applied to sustainable development goals. We, present, we represent CSIC in the uh, Open Science Working Group in Science Europe and in one European Open Science Cloud EOSC Task Force. And we'll extend these activities in this new Severo Chua project. We plan to strengthen as, as well the support to open and reputable science through the SPSRC, which stands out due to its engagement with open science and fair principles. Fair principles, you all know, findability, accessibility, interoperability, and reusability that are fundamental to making uh, maximizing scientific impact. Principles that benefit both science and society, with keywords being transparency, participation, reuse, cooperation, reproducibility, improved quality and fidelity, and also words that are key to all of us, inclusion, equity, impartiality, integrity. Before ending my speech, I would like to thank our co-organizing partner, partner, the SKAO that endorses the school by means of its SKA Regional Center Party and Training Program, um, as Julian said. I thank, of course, the chair of the SOC, Julian Garrido, as well as the other SOC members, um, here I'm a little bit, little bit biased, uh, so I thank especially Susana Sanchez and Lourdes Verdes Montenegro from the IEA. I also gratefully acknowledge the lecturers and, and, and tutors who have so kindly accepted our invitation. And of course, all you, all the participants, for your interest in, in this school that makes you being here in one way or another. This is a hybrid uh, event. Thanks also to our local team. Um, so I, I'd like to name them Laura, Laura de Riva, Manuel Gonzalez, Irene Jimenez, Alicia Peregrina, and Marcos Villaverde from the IAA, and Fernando Segura from Baobab. Uh, all practical things are possible thanks to, to your help. Uh, I wish you all enjoy this uh, IAA Severo Choa SKA Open Science School. I'm a site again. Welcome to the IAA SESIC. Welcome to Granada. Okay, so ne next one would be Isabel Diaz, <laughs> <laughs> Deputy Vice President of International Affairs and Cooperation in CSIC. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Julian. Can you hear me properly? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, good, good, good. Well, uh, thank you so much for uh, inviting me to uh, uh, join you today. I have to admit that even though I strongly support your um, intent to reduce the 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 the, the carbon, carbon footprint on the atmosphere, I really regret not being there. I wish I could have uh, taken a train also to to work on your line and and being there uh, because things in person are, I don't know, more uh, energy transfer. I mean, there is more a. Uh, um, connection between people and uh, this is what it's all about right uh, sharing in the in the community in the scientific community and uh, talking about sharing well uh, i'm here just to to share the support of the central institution the spanish research uh, council especially the vice presidency for international relations international affairs to SCA, and particularly to this uh, school uh, open science school because I we believe as an institution that open science is the future and uh, this is this dichotomy you know we have to help the planet but we also have 
to protect or, 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 or do our science the way we know, basically. But well, the way we know things are changing uh, in, in, in our opinion. So open science is here to stay. And uh, it's fair that everywhere from every corner of the world uh, is able to access to the knowledge that we produce. I mean, we are government employees, we are scientists, we devote to society and, uh, and therefore everything should be open and accessible. But this is not what I say. This is something that the Spanish government last week actually uh, told us to do through the Estrategia Nacional de Ciencia Abierta, which is a document that has been uh, brewing for three years actually with the interaction of uh, many institutions, in, including CSIC. But from CSIC, we also are strongly supporting open science. Since 2019, we have this uh, institutional and mandated, I mean, Mandato Institucional de Ciencia Abierta. And uh, this determination is uh, coming to practice as part of the things that Isabel has mentioned, that uh, not only large infrastructures are devoted to telescopes and, 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 and large facilities, but also to large open science infrastructures. So in that regard, in the CSIC, we have from our local digital CSIC, our local storage and computational facilities, but we also are a mandated organization in EOSC, European Open Science Cloud. So as an institution, we are committed to open science and to, to share, to uh, enhance community and enhance visibility of this particular way of doing science. And the way we support this visibility is by also joining uh, COARA, the Coalition for Advancing Research Assessment. I mean, EOSC, Science Europe, that, I mean, we are realizing that the way we evaluate, the way we uh, grade our scientific um, achievements uh, is outdated. I mean, it's, uh, we have to change our mind. We have to interact better. We have to believe in, in, in what we do, not in how they're going to grade what we do. And uh, if, if I was in another environment, maybe I'll say it with a smaller mouth, but in, in a school, I think I can say loudly that we do have to change our research assessment structure. Forget about metrics and forget about uh, what you have done until now in terms of uh, number of publications, uh, impact factor, and things like that. Let's talk about how have you contributed to the society? How has your science pushed knowledge and has uh, entitled people from any corner of the planet access your knowledge? That is the real impact not the impact factor and how uh, many people have read our articles, or at least that's, that's what I say. And um, I don't want to take much longer in my speech because I know Nacho Blanquer is around there and he's going to speak uh, more about uh, EOSC and open science. So let me just uh, conclude with a, a, a firm and solid support to this SK, SKA team, uh, Lourdes, Julian, Susana, of course, to the Instituto de Astrofisica Andalucía, Isabel and Anchon, uh, it, it, it is really nice working with you. It is a, a, I'm really thankful that uh, I can share with you today this initiative. So thank you very much. And I wish you a very fruitful uh, uh, two days uh, workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, we are going to welcome Ignacio Blanquer. He's one of the most important person in Spain, in Spain related in areas related to e-science and open science. So it's uh, really an honor. Thank you. Thank you, Julian, for this kind and very exaggerated words. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here. And I want to thank the organizers for inviting me in the name of the Spanish uh, Network for e-science, which I am the I mean, the secretary, 
uh, the coordinator, which is a collegiate body of the general director of research of the Spanish Ministry of Research and Innovation. So second, I would like to congratulate the Spanish astrophysics community, in particular, um, the Institute of Astrophysics at Andalusia, for achieving this Spanish membership to the SKA, which is a key for the development of these activities and clearly so the strong support of Spain to this initiative. In this direction, I want to stress that one of the pillars of open science is the European Open Science Cloud that has been mentioned by Isabel recently. I'm fortunately one of the members of the board of directors of the EOC uh, Association, um, and uh, the EOC has defined three objectives in its strategic research and innovation agenda. One is to foster the compliance of the research data to the fair principles, to findability, accessibility, interoperability, and reusability. And clearly, this effort that you are showing here goes towards this direction and helping building this large community and this large uh, amount of data that will be uh, available for the develop for the scientists, the research community. Second objective is to make open science the new normal, improving the skills and the recognition of researchers in the same direction that Isabel was, Isabel Diaz was commenting about recognitions of the impact of the reusability of the data. Also, events like the one today so are very useful to improve the willingness, to improve the skills, to let the uh, open science principle be uh, learned and be uh, acquired by the research community. And finally, the third objective that pursues the strategic research and innovation agenda of EOC is the federation of EE infrastructure capable of supporting these practices by providing resources, by providing services, and providing an ecosystem of tools that could support this activity. This is a major endeavor and requires effort from the whole community. EOC is not trying to replace the activities. It's trying to integrate and learn from those that who are advanced, like the astrophysics community, like the bioinformatics community, and try to reuse the, all the efforts that they have, that you have done, and extend it to the other communities and help them to achieve the same degree of uh, best practices. I would like to also to thank uh, contributors to this EOC uh, building that are attending this event, like uh, Roberto Di Cosmo, like uh, Isabel Diaz, like Susana Sanchez and Julian Garrido, who are really supporting this activity in Spain and Europe. Then, this activity, as I was saying, is well aligned also with the Spanish strategy for open science um, that has been recently uh, published. I would also like to take the opportunity to inform you that there will be an e European Open Science Cloud tripartite event. Uh, these tripartite events are very useful events to understand the um, impression on the needs and the feedback from the community and to help us shaping the future of EOC, especially this year is key for defining the future model that the EOC will have. And also we'll have the EOC symposium organized in Spain in September, since we are, um, I mean, having this uh, opportunity of the Spanish presidency of the European Union. Also, would like to also to invite you to join our e-science uh, mailing list that for sure uh, the, the people from EIA could also help you on, on getting access to this. So we are now in a very critical and a very important moment on defining the future of the EOC and e-science in Europe, um, the models for the governing and the models for how the um, different activities will be supported financially and structurally in the uh, in the following uh, framework program are really defining now. So it's very important to understand and learn from your communities. The participation of well-established research communities and astrophysics is really key in this effort. So I don't have to take more time. I'd like to congratulate the organizers for this highly interesting program for these two days and a half. I wish all the success in this event and the endeavor of SKA. Thank you very much.